Like, if you look at it from here, it doesn't look like a garage. What is going on YouTube? Dallas here with a video. If you're here for the first time, welcome. If you're back for my subscribers, welcome. I appreciate you and I appreciate you watching this video. This is gonna be a walkthrough of my gym, of my home fitness studio. Don't call it a garage gym. Yeah, it's in a garage, but it's more than that. In the description, I'm gonna be giving you all the links and everything. I'm gonna be talking about prices. I'm gonna be talking about what's working for me, what isn't working for me, and let's just jump right into it. I'm actually gonna start off the video by saying this originally wasn't even here. Um, I'm gonna put a link in the description on us remodeling this because this wall was never here This was all one garage. So we just pretty much built all this in we converted everything here And then we put the rest of the stuff in the basement. So this is coming from the house So we we'll, as we're walking as we're walking in the garage the garage rather we have um, my little workstation so when I'm um, working on like clients or if I'm doing consultations or if I'm doing a YouTube edit or just just some random stuff with my online clients I am uh, I'm at this little workstation I have my bibs um, these aren't even all my bibs actually these bibs were from pretty much um, 2015 and up so um, yeah man here's all the races I've done since then here's a nice little Spartan uh, flag I have my little certificate from when I got certified. And um, first let's jump into the actual amp that I'm using because I have the speakers in the, in the, um, in the ceiling. We'll jump into that in a second. But here's the, the PAL amp that I'm using, the stereo amp. It's pretty straight. I have the, the iPod and all the other MP3 stuff in here. I keep it on the DVD setting because I have the HDMI connection to the TV, so it pretty much mirrors everything. So let me actually show you what it looks like, um, and you'll be able to hear it. What I was gonna do about it? I started to grind, so I started to grind. I started to put my all and everything. I was doing it. You know how you want something so bad, you're trying to figure out how you're gonna get there. It's not about getting there, it's about the process. It's about trying to get there. If you keep trying to get there, you're gonna get there. So that amp is pretty good. I mean, this space isn't that big, so I knew I didn't need that much. I didn't need too strong of an amp, so that's why I, like, I'm kind of okay with this, this amp. And it was only like 80 bucks, it wasn't that big a deal. You had to get the wiring too, because all the wiring that I have is in the, in the ceiling. So I got 100 foot of wiring, I got the amp, the, the wiring was, I think, around 15 bucks. The amp was about 80 bucks. I got four speakers. I think they came um, two in a pack. I'm gonna put the link in the description um, as well. I believe those were about like 40 bucks a piece and they go a long way. I was originally just gonna get like a surround town and just put it around it, but then the electrician that did everything, he was like, you know what, I can just put it in the ceiling. I didn't even think about it and it just makes such a difference and it just looks, looks very, very clean the way it came out. So we're gonna move over to the chalkboard. I really wanted a chalkboard because it's better for like when I'm writing programs and anything and everything. My clients, they want to see exactly what's going on. So I felt like this was going to be really beneficial. This was only like 20 bucks on Amazon. And then, um, yeah, it, it really looks nice on the, on the red wall. You know what I mean? It's, it's a nice little vibe. Um, I'm going to move over to these. The, this pack came with 5 pounds, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So it came with a few... Um, weights, which is good. The, the, even the 30 pounds is a little bit too light for me, so I think I'm gonna have to get another kettlebell. But I really like this weight set, nice black, keep everything black. This was, I think like, this was cheap actually. It was like 30 bucks, it was like yes for all. 
Um, yeah, it's not bad at all. So these babies, I love. I love these. These are called Titans. Um, I got two. I got these for 250 pounds. Um, yeah, no, no. These are 230 pound set. Um, the weights came separately with the bar. I did a lot of research and I was trying to see if I can get some rogues, but the Titans just worked out a lot better for me. Um, they're durable, they have a nice bounce to it, and they just work out so much better for me. Um, they're cleaner, and they're cheaper too. So with the weights and the bar, I think I got it for, I think I got it for like 400, 400, no, no, no. yeah, I think I got it for, like, for about 400 bucks, which isn't bad, man, for, for bumper plates. And this is a good start off weight for me, 230, because, you know, I can bench 230, I can squat 230, I can deadlift 230 reps. If I get, if I need to get more weights, I can always add some more, so it's not that big of a deal. I do want to get like, um, like a weight stand because um, this really isn't holding it well. I did a review on the cap squat rack, so I'm gonna put the link in the description. I'm not gonna go too much into depth because I already covered it, but I really like this this rack. This rack is only a hundred bucks. You really can't beat it, man. You, you really can't for a hundred dollars and it comes with um, the pull-up bar too. It's pretty dope, man. I really love it a lot. So I felt like since I had the cap squat rack already, let me just, keep the marriage with the cap um, bench. And this bench was only 50 bucks, man. And I'm telling you, I cannot put things together at all. Like, I really can't. And this was stupid easy. Even the even to put this together was dumb easy. Like, painfully easy. And um, this cost um, 50 bucks. You can't beat it. It's durable. I do box jumps with it. I can't really do it too much because um, the height, 6'5", so I have to go outside with it. But um, I really like this a lot. Um, moving on to the battle ropes. I love these battle ropes. This battle rope is straight. Um, I knew I didn't have enough space, so I didn't want it too long. That's what she said. Uh, <laughs> but um, the weight for the battle rope, I forget what the weight is, but I definitely want a size up because I can muscle through these battle ropes very good. But um, I love these, this is what, I think about 40 bucks or 30 bucks um, on Amazon. Put the link in the description. But I love these to get a nice sweat in, a nice little workout. Um, I, I like to do these in between my sets. But yeah, here's the battle rope, I love it. I really wanted to work on my, um, my grip strength, so I definitely got the rings. The rings were so good, man. I, I love doing rings. You can do like a million things with the rings. So the rings were 20 bucks. They had them in like a few different colors. So since I had, um, since I'm working on like the black, white, and red vibe, you know what I mean? I wanted to stick with the red, with the black strips. I was so confused on like how to like loop these, but it's so simple to loop them. And the main thing for what I was um, trying to get with the, with the rings, I was trying to figure out exactly how to hold it. So what you want to do is you want to find a beam and then you would pretty much want to find, um, get like a really good mount. I got these mounts separately. Unfortunately, these don't come together, which I feel like they should, but you can always undo these and like bring it to a park or bring it somewhere. But these, these mounts, um, they come in a pair. Watch out because some of the mounts, they actually don't come with a pair. Um, and I found, out, I found that out the hard way. But these come in a pair. I got these for I think $17 for a pair. And I think that these can hold 300 pounds each. So I'm definitely straight on, on you know, making sure they're sturdy and stable. And um, yeah, I, I really like this setup a lot. Um, I've been working on my pull ups. I'm too tall to do the muscle ups. So I've been doing like muscle up variations on these, but you know, the sky's the limit when it comes to, you know, doing these these type of rings. And <laughs> it's so funny because my wife was like, you know, you've had this punching bag for like over 15 years, and I think it's time for you to get another one. And I'm like, I don't, I don't want another one because I kind of like the grittiness of this. I do, you, but you know what? Like, I am gonna get one eventually, but I'm gonna get a six footer just so I can do like low kicks and stuff like that. 
But this is a four foot, this is the Everlast, man. You already know about the Everlast. The Ever you can't go wrong with the Everlast. I love the Everlast. This is a 70 pounder, man. You can get this anywhere. But I'm gonna put the link in the description as well. So what this didn't come with, this didn't come with the didn't come with, with the, the hooks or anything. So I had to buy the hooks. This came with, with this this all came together. So the the mount and the hooks came together. I got this um, as well. This looks a little, un this looks kind of like flimsy to be honest with you, but like when I tell you I've kicked this bag so hard and this doesn't budge, it really, really does a good job of holding up. Um, this is pretty sturdy. It's not going anywhere, it, it really isn't. I've literally hung from this just to make sure I'm good. And I'm, I'm like 215 pounds, so yeah, we straight on this, but. Yeah, I'm gonna put the link in the description for this, man. This is, this is pretty straight, man. I really like this because I've seen ones that like come on a wall and then come on here. I'm like, nah, nah, you're doing too much. I really didn't want to um, put that on here. And um, shout out to my homegirl, Ray. She's working on her YouTube channel soon, but um, she's an artist and she's, she's lost about like 200 something pounds and she, she's a beast, but Man, she, she made this custom thing for me because I, I definitely wanted the Muhammad Ali vibe. She said she's working on another one for me as well. But man, just, just look at this. This is custom. Float like a butterfly. Got the butterfly right there. Sting like a bee. Got the bee vibe. But yeah, I really love this, man. Shout out to Ray. You, you the real MVP. But yeah, the floor. So the floor, I definitely wanted the rubber matting because, you know, I knew I was gonna be doing a lot of like Olympic lifting and everything, so I wanted to make sure the floor would be protected as long along with my um my weight as well. So I got the rubber matting actually from from uh from Home Depot, and it was so stupid because I had to go to like seven different Home Depots. I didn't really have to go to seven. I only went to about like four or five. But yeah, I had to go to like a lot of different Home Depots because they would only have like one or two packs. But it's pretty good too. And I'm actually glad I got this type of um, this type of flooring because <clears throat> as you know, like I'm in a garage, but what happened was um, we live kind of on a hill and I'll actually show you, yeah, we live on a hill. So what ended up happening was water started to come, come into the gym and it was so easy for me to just you know, pull this up. You know what I mean? And then we, here's the original flooring right here. So all you have to do is just pull it up, snap it back in, snap, crap, and pop, and then we good. But yeah, the flooring was really, really important. Um, I had to make sure I got the correct flooring for that. Um, let's just move on over to this treddy. We've had this treadmill for a while now. But, but uh, yeah, it's, it's a really good treadmill. It, it really holds on. I didn't want anything too crazy. I just wanted something to get me through some, some cardio workouts um, after, some, after a weightlifting session. But yeah, here's the treadmill. Works pretty good, nothing too crazy. Got your standard incline, decline, all that good stuff. And then um, let's just move on, move on over to the Schwinn bike. So my wife, she really wanted a, um, a spin bike. So she said, um, she, you know, she was going through like the Amazon marketplace and everything. And she found this and checked it out. And I was like, man, for like, for 150 bucks, man, you really can't beat it. It's in pretty good condition. It has speakers and everything. It has the, um, has like a Bluetooth setup. It checks some, um, like your heart rate and all that good stuff. I was like the heart rate monitor and everything. But it was so funny because like when we got it, uh, I was so stupid, I didn't plug it in or anything. And I was trying to figure out where the outlet was. And then lo and behold, it's like really, really in the bottom. I couldn't even figure out where it was. But yeah, here's the Schwinn bike. And here is our little cardio station. But I was kind of nervous because originally when I was setting this up, I wanted this over here, but I couldn't figure out how it would make it swing good in between, you know, the racks. So I was like, you know what, let me just put it here. And then um, if someone's on the treadmill, I'll just be right here, just punching it right here. Since I can't punch it on this direction, since I don't want them to get hit if 
you know, I'm punching or kicking or anything. But because the space was small, I definitely wanted to get some mirrors. So here's a little mirror vibe. You know, you make sure your form is good, making sure everything is nice and, and crispy. But um, it's, it's a really nice space. It's a nice, comfortable space for me. Um, it's a good starting point for me. And I don't think I want to have anything else in here. If anything, I'm probably going to get maybe um, like a rogue medicine ball. Um, I, I really want to get a medicine ball and I really want to get a monster tire. A lot of people have been telling me about like the whole monster tires. They say that you can actually get them for free because a lot of times, you know, farmers or things along those lines, they actually end up throwing them out if they get like flats or I, I don't know, like it, it's like the wear and tear isn't good. So like if you call them like, hey, like, can I get your, your monster tire? And then just pretty much just take it from there. You may be able to get one for free. So I'm gonna check it out and I'm gonna let you guys know if I end up getting a monster tire and how I went about doing that and everything. But man I'm, I'm really happy with this space i it's like my own space um no no more gym memberships if you can afford to do it man do it it's like you don't have to do it all at once like i did but even if you just get weights and then just get a bag and then just get, you know what i mean just 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 go at your own pace and then eventually you have everything set up nice and neat nice and clean and if you look at it from here look at it it doesn't look like a garage oh. It looks like a garage now, but like if you look at it from here, it doesn't look like a garage. And then you see that right here. So the only bad thing about it is I have this running right now. This isn't big enough for the space. So I'm going to get another heater. Um, I live in Connecticut and it's 40 degrees right now. And I had this running for about an hour and this, it took the chill off, but it's still a little bit cold, but it's a gym. So like you'll be working out and everything. So like, you're, you're not going to be cool for long and um, it, it's, it's, a, it's pretty good though Yeah, this is the space. I I'm really really happy with the space. I'm, I'm so excited I'm so excited that like I don't have to like you know like when you're deadlifting and stuff and people are like, oh, Could you could you keep it down like no like no, I'm not keeping it down. No, I'm, I'm trying to get my gains in I'm trying to work out. I'm trying to do this and like no so Man, I'm, I'm just really, really happy with this space, man. If you guys have any questions on like things that I didn't cover, if you want me to go more in depth about like certain things that I didn't go over, please let me know in the comments because I, I already know how it is. I was doing a lot of research when I was trying to, you know, um, set this whole system up and I finally have it set up to my liking. I, I don't think I'm going to add anything else though. But. Yeah, let me know in the comments though. Let me know. Talk to me. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. More videos like this coming soon. We gonna get it in. Oh yeah, we gonna get it in.